Perhaps I should have turned this around before I hit record. <laughs> Never mind. Oh. <sighs> I've had a slow day. I'm feeling pissed off. I'm going to go to Lidl's in a minute because I'm getting hungry. I um, just sold a bicycle. That's the last one I had for sale. Well, this end anyway, I've still got one or two at Mum's. And I've still got two at Mum's, I've just remembered. The ladies one to finish off and the blue rally. And one to start work on. But apart from that, I've done absolutely jack fuck all today. So I just haven't felt like it. I didn't get up till 12. Oh well. Well, I say I haven't done jack shit. I actually I have. I've started to remodel that. And that, uh, <laughs> that fire engine just fits. You know, you probably couldn't get cigarette paper between it and the back wall and it and the door. <laughs> it just fits. But I'm going to do a custom vehicle to put this side. Um, but yeah, that will be the perfect sort of size. That's what I was aiming for, anyway. Something like that, anyway. <laughs> oh, that sun's bright. It did just cloud over dark, but it didn't do anything. Um, actually, when that guy was here looking at the bike, I thought uh, it was actually going to chuck it down while we were out there, but nope. I've done a little bit more to this, I think. What did I do? Oh, yeah, I found a door. Found a door for the toilet. <laughs> Pinched off of that because that'll probably go bye bye because I don't think I really need a Coast Guard tower. I haven't really got the beach space to put it anyway. Besides, I got that. <laughs> the police can do it. They can double up as the Coast Guard. I want to keep them busy. Ha oh. <laughs> ha. Yeah. Um. I did drop that tub full of Lego earlier, it slipped straight out of my hands and just went all over the floor. So I've got a bit of butter fingers today as well. <laughs> right. If I really put my mind to it, I could have the basics of this done today, you know. I could um, build the extra couple of floors I want. It's only going to be a small sort of uh, station. I'm not going for anything large. This is pretty much just a communal area. And I cheated with this bit. That's not a one by two. That's not two stud wide brick. It's just that. <laughs> I just put that in there because it will make doing the next floor a lot easier because there's then support. Ooh, and I'm spitting all over my screen. There we go. <laughs> I've put that window dead centre, just so it looked even. So yeah, I've just got... I don't know whether to go for another one floor or two floors. don't know. Um, but again, I am going to need lots more. Ooh. That isn't going to be good. I've got wind at the minute and it does not smell nice. I'm going to need a shed load more of these for this project as well. But uh, this is a relatively easier project than a hospital because it's not as much, you don't need as much detail with a fire station, you know. I could put some extra bit hooks in and things to put equipment on and whatnot. And there only needs to be a desk downstairs, an office upstairs. Maybe sleeping quarters, unless I pretend this is a retained station that we have over here in Britain. And you probably just need an office upstairs and perhaps a little recreation area, debrief room or something. 
But uh, with a hospital you've got all sorts of rooms you need to do and lots of uh, furniture detail so that one's going to take me longest. Like I said this one isn't going to take me as long and I could get that actually in situ quite quick. And actually if I can get the main shell done and the basic furniture that I need installed then it would just be a case of buying all the tiles and tiling it up. In fact, I've already decided that I was going to do something like this. Seriously. Seriously, bitch. <laughs> I'm an odd stud out. What I was going to do adds a bit of colour to the tiling you see they're just going to put grey between but what am I talking about Lego on this channel I don't know ah 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 um yeah Oh sweet, didn't want to do that. I just broke the door. Um, right, I'm going to need either a very fine flat tipped screwdriver. And I was playing with one over here at some point. But it isn't here now. <laughs> oh, sugar. I don't know. Ooh, where is my brick separator? I should have two brick separators. Somewhere. A very handy little tool that Lego created. You know, I kept them things out the other day, now I can't find them. Well, I just need to pop these off because uh, I need to open the door so the door sits on the tiles. I forgot about that. Anyway, I'm actually getting hungry. I think I've decided on fish. I'm not going to do anything with it, I'm just going to go to Lidl's, buy a box of uh, four fish fillets and cook them up on the George and that will be my dinner. So, on that note, I will uh, talk to you later on. <clears throat> Sorry, I was just looking at Facebook. Um, interesting post was posted up on the Chroma Town Group. Yep, yeah, for a change. <laughs> Jesus, there's a lot of comments. I can see what some people are saying. Basically what it is, a lorry was delivering in the Chroma Town Centre and they've parked it squarely on the footpath so pedestrians can't get past. But, that's the width of the road, so please tell me exactly how he's supposed to make his deliveries to local businesses. Whoops. <clears throat> it's either park on the footpath and inconvenience a handful of pedestrians. Because, I mean, yeah, you know, that, that really looks busy pedestrian-wise, doesn't it? Yeah, you know, there's hundreds of pedestrians trying to cross the road to get round the lorry. Anyway, and people are whinging that it's parked there, well, for one, it's not all day, for stars. Someone actually said they should be using a smaller lorry. Um, there's an issue with the, um, them using a smaller lorry. Well, for starters, I can see on the back of that lorry that that is chock full. Right to the back doors, so... If they're going to use a smaller lorry, how are they going to get all that lot on a smaller lorry? Second... That lorry driver is probably making more than one delivery. This is probably multiple stops he's got to make. And this, judging by the 
in fact his trailer is full this is probably the first stop on his list and to use a smaller lorry also means those drivers have got to take more trips or they'd have to lay on more lorries which will cost money to buy and hire more drivers which will cost more money which will then bump up the prices you know that companies have to pay haulage companies to haul their goods around which in turn would bump up the prices in the shop so yeah bravo Let's use smaller lorries, that's a really good idea. I think I might turn notifications off because the... Uh... And actually, at least someone's actually come up with a half-decent suggestion. Instead of whinge... This is what I don't get, people will whinge about something like that, but you don't see them suggesting an alternative. I mean, people say it's a joke, which it is, because we have the same sort of problem here in North Walsham with the traffic. But these towns are older than cars. You know, they were around way before the car was even thought of. So the roads, especially around the town centres, are not designed for this sort of traffic. You know, we're trying to use modern traffic and modern vehicles on roads that just were not designed for them so unless they demolish all the buildings and make the roads wider there isn't a lot that can be done it's either like it or lump it I'm afraid or as someone suggested you pedestrianize town centers mm. and perhaps have it so it's deliveries only but, uh, yeah, anyway, that's what I've been, <laughs> been debating on there. Several sarcastic comments, because I'm in one of them moods. Anyway, I've had me fish. Uh, and I've actually been having a shift around as well while I was waiting for that to cook. Um, oops, because I'm going to have a sort out. A major sort out of computer parts, basically. I'm going to keep a bunch of these. I've got a bunch in the bedroom, which I'll probably end up throwing out. I really have got a bunch of floppy disk drives, but... So I'm sort of using this as the um, hard drive and disk drive cupboard. Plus, I'll probably put a few of these um, small tubs of screws and things in here out of the way. So I'm stuck. Is that going to go in there? No, nope. bitch. <laughs> Let's try. Uh, and once I've done this, I'm actually going to um, go into the bedroom and empty all my. Um, All of my uh, CD-ROM drives out of the cupboard and go through those because I've just got shitloads in that cupboard that I don't need. Actually, I do believe some of them were actually meant to go in the bin anyway. <laughs> that box there, I don't know. can't remember. Oh, it's LEDs and switches in that box. That box there. I've got some uh, card readers. I actually know why I keep them because I don't use them. <laughs> Some more floppy dip, disk dip, floppy dip drives, floppy disk drives rather. I'm going to keep, well, pretty much everything that's in this cupboard. Anything I find in the bedroom, and I've got a handful of floppy disk drives for that. I might try an eBay. Oh, that reminds me, I've got to take that bike off. eBay. So I could try an eBay as a job lot or. Or, or, or I'll just end up going down the dump when I next go down there, which will probably be at the weekend, I hope, because I'm out of stock now. 
Well, I'm out of stock here. I've got one bike left that's reserved um, for someone at least till the weekend. So, uh, oh yeah, when I was in Lidl's I bought this. Now let's see me get stuck in the middle of friggin' nowhere with a flat tyre. <laughs> I'm going to bolt that to my bike. <laughs> and with this design, it actually goes on the same mounts as your bottle cage. But you put this on first, then your bottle cage over the top. So you haven't got to have another bottle cage mount, because some bikes have more than one mount. What did I do with that? Cl oh yeah, it's in here. No, I'm nuts. I sort of looked over there and I'm like, where's my Claude Butler gone? Oh yeah, it's in the bedroom, you dipstick. <laughs> Where I put it. Right, oh, we have one outside light working again. So that's what the electrician was doing. He didn't fix the other one, probably didn't have a light bulb for the other one. So I'm guessing that um, amber coloured outside light up on the uh, corner there must have gone completely and tripped out, which is why we had no outside lights. Well, there was an electrician there. And I thought the electrician was being a bit of a pillock because he parked his van right in the entrance so no cars could get in or out. And he had, you know, had the hazard lights flashing. But then I realised afterwards, when I sort of stood up here watching, why he'd done it. Because he was up a ladder looking at the lights on the... Um, or the light up on that corner, so at least putting the van there, that means no pillock could have driven in or out and risked knocking him off the ladder, so <laughs> I was close to ranting about that on the Town Council um, Facebook page and then I realised exactly why he'd parked the van where he did and they've left the lights on upstairs yeah, it don't matter about the outside lights. They've got one working anyway. But they should be moving out. Um, I think they said May, so next month. So I don't think they really need to worry about the lights now. <clears throat> right. Yeah, I'm just sick and tired of Nospis. Nuspis. <laughs> um, might give me a bit more room in that cupboard and wow. And if you didn't get that, that meant uh, that, that tough. If you didn't get that, I said that'll give me more room in this cupboard as well. When I can get to it. <laughs> so I've got a pile of floppy disk drives down there. I think those are the ones that I was actually trying to sell on eBay, so... Don't know, I'll try them as a job lot. Um, so I'll probably stand them, I don't know, freaking somewhere. Do the same with the CD drives. As far as I know, they all work. Stuff all that dirty washing back into there. Find a home for that box of toy cars. And I could just stick it under there for now. That guy still hasn't got back to me, so don't know if he wants them or not. No. Oh, pardon me. Oh yeah, the reason the other reason I bought that particular pump when I was in Lidl's is because most mini pumps. Where did I put it? Most mini pumps like this are um. Plastic, all plastic. This one's an aluminium body, which means it's going to be a bit stronger. <laughs> so yeah, and there is um, valve adapters with it. There, uh, you actually pop a cap off the end here. Shall I open that up? Let's open that up. If I can. There's that kitchen knife. Move my hand out of the way so I don't cut that. There's like a spare seal there, O-ring thing with a little tab on it and a couple of screws. Uh, most bike frames come with the screws anyway. Oh yeah. Yeah, metal. <laughs> oh, I see what this is. That's not a seal. 
got a spare rubber clip. Look, you just pull that rubber bit off. It's just like an extra safety catch that goes over. That's a nice idea. I like that idea. So that's what that is, just a spare one, I suppose, in case you snap it. I suppose you could use an O-ring if you really wanted to. You've got a waterproof or water-resistant cap on this end. Which I presume, looking at that, is the end you put your adapters into. Yep, you can pull this end off. And we have an adapter. Oh, I see. Look at this. And I've got stickers on. This end is for the old style, what they call Dunlop. There is another name for them. And Presta, the really skinny valves. And this end, <coughs> excuse me, is for the um, <coughs> American valve, or as we call it, Schrader valve. So you just screw in whatever end you don't want, you just, uh, or don't need, you just screw in there. So what have I got out? I've got the American valve out. And of course, if you just want to use the one for the skinny valve, or the Dunlop valve, one of my bikes over at Mum's does actually have a Dunlop, actually has Dunlop valves on both Tubes, but there you go, screw it in. <laughs> that is actually quite a good design. I like that. That actually saves having to have more than one pump adapter. You've just got it all in one. That is um, pretty deep. I like that. I'm gonna do... uh, it will only go in one way because this screw bit here is a bit thicker because of the um, end. You just pop that down, cap down. That's it, it just goes in the handle. <laughs> that dust cover on as well. Bob's your uncle, hello, what have we got written on it? Well, Delta Sport, this is made by the company Crivet, which um, I've actually got quite a lot of Crivet stuff. They are pretty good, in my opinion. Oh, rated pressure 8.3 bar 120 psi. This can go up to 120 psi. I'll take your fucking have Popeye arms by the time you'd pumped up a tire to that, wouldn't you? Jeez, 120 psi, 8.3 bar. Yeah, the only plastic is basically end handle. Bracket, which is apparently fibre reinforced, according to the um, pack. Yay! That was worth the um, three pounds and ninety-nine p. Me thinks it just hooks over like that. It looks like it's designed so you can actually have it hanging off the left or the right of the bike. I'm going to put these um, that spare loop. Screws, I'll keep in the pack and I'll put in my drawer over here. Right. Is there any paperwork in this? I always hide the paperwork in the card. I don't want the cardboard bit, I don't need that bit. Bag is nearly full, my rubbish bag. Whoops. Instructions for use, I've already figured it out. <laughs> They might as well go in the recycle bin as well. Heck, if I don't know how to use a bicycle pump by now, then I shouldn't be fixing bikes. Right. <laughs> See, I just do a quick demo. Basically, it just bolts over those holes like that. And like I said, you can have it left, right. And then you just put your bottle cage on top. And hey, presto. But you see, like with this one, I could have that, could actually go like that with this one because there's a mount there. Some bikes are like that, they'll have more than one cage mount. 
Yeah, this is going to go on the other Claude Butler. Because I do use that one the most, especially for long rides. So, that's what I'm going to put this one on. Anyway, I'm going to disappear just for a little bit while I sort this corner out so I can get to the cupboard. And then I'll pull out all the um, CD drives and we'll have a look at those. So, uh, see you in a little bit. Right, well I've got them all out of the cupboard. <clears throat> 24 in total. 30 if I count what's in the uh, disused cases dotted around. Uh, which I'm not worried about, they can stay in the cases. So, let's put you there. Hopefully, we can go through them. <laughs> right. Three in this shape, that curved shape, which I kept because uh, they sort of match the shape of a couple of Dell towers I've got, but I'm not really certain I really need them to be honest. That one's a compact disc reader, reader writer I should say, I think. Writable compact disc rewritable high speed. And we've got DVD ROM, which is Samson, They're both Samson. And I've got a third, another DVD ROM that I can't get to. Uh, I don't want playing DVD ROMs anyway, do I? So I'm going to ship pile, I think. What's this one? That's a compact disc rewritable DVD ROM drive. Don't know. This is an LG Super Multi. Keep. DVD Multi Recorder. This does compact disc rewritable and DVD rewritable. I don't really want a couple like that. What's this one? That's just a plain box standard um, compact disc DVD ROM. That's not a burner. Do I keep that one? Because that would suit um, older computers. I think I will keep that one. Because, like I said, it'll suit the older PCs that I want to fix up and put in the bedroom. Right, what have we got next? A horrible grey one. That's just another plain DVD ROM, right? So that's another one for the crap pile. If you're wondering what I'm taking off the backs of these, it's these little jumpers. Very handy. Right. That's a compact disc writer. As that is old style as well, I will keep that one. Same with that one. 14, 16, and 48 times speed. Keep hold of that one. Got a nice silver one here, but I don't think I've got any silver cases. And this it is a DVD RW. Where's my screwdriver gone? Screws out of it. CDRW combi drive. Uh, I suppose it would be handy to keep hold of that one as a spare. You never know, I may need one to get me out of a muddle if one fails. Best thing about putting them in the cupboard with the fronts facing me, I can see what they are looking at them. What's this one? Just a bog standard CD drive, I'll keep that for the older PCs as well. And ones that I definitely don't want to get rid of. There's another one of those, I'm not keeping them. I was going to keep them, but not anymore, I don't need them. Ooh, we've got an Asus one here. A black, quiet track, compact disc rewritable, that's all it is. 
in the don't know pile. And I've got a CD one, HP rather. So the bezel is broken on that one. So I know where this one's going. These all work by the way, I've, all, I've tested each and every one of these before I put them in the um, cupboard in the bedroom. So I know they all work. It's an old white one. That does both, it's a light on. Compact disc rewritable and DVD rewritable, so that's a combi drive. Again, that'll do for the older machines. Could upgrade a Windows 98 machine or something to that. What's this one? Adjust link, DVD ROM. Nah. Compact disc rewriter. That's another white combi drive. I'll keep that one. I'm not doing very well here. I haven't kept many black fronted ones, have I? That's just a black CD player. CD ROM drive, I should say. Why oh, that one? It's a DVD ROM drive. <laughs> Sony one. A very filthy one. I'll keep hold of that one, but I need to test it because the other one was a dud. Oh, that's an SATA one. Definite key. That's the only SAT one I've got spare in that cupboard. It's another compact disc rewriter. Re It's just another plain old CD ROM drive. Keep the LG. I don't know about these two. Because they're just bog standard drives, they're not burners. I've got a feeling I might um, just take these down to the recycle centre when I next go. I don't think I'm going to get anything for them. They're not worth anything. It's not worth the time and effort of putting them on eBay. It's not worth the time and effort getting that off, is it? You know, to make not a lot. <laughs> A little pot full of those jumpers. Right, that's that job done. That's all I wanted to do. Well, there's some um, hard drive cages in there. I don't even know if they're worth keeping. Actually, I know some are. Oh, nice big pile of them. I can't remember what sort of case that came out of. These come out of the Dells. Like that one I've got down there. That's what those cages come out of. Right. Another one. Thing. There we go. Uh, 
got a few more dotted in there. I might be able to make use of them. I think I'll keep them, but I'll move them. Anyway, that is it for this part. I'll uh, see if I can find something else to do, and I'll be back. Right. <clears throat> Took a bit longer to come back to the camera because uh, I had a phone call from Mum just to see how I was and whatnot. Uh, I did go downstairs and uh, took that blasted um, bedside cabinet down and uh, disconnected the battery from the shed and uh, I've got it on charge. It's actually charging pretty well. Now I can focus on it. Well, one thing I don't like about this screen on this camera is if I haven't got it at the right angle I think that the camera isn't picking up on something when it's just not actually showing on my screen because I'm looking at the screen at a funny angle you know like some LCDs it's not the worst but um, I couldn't see the little red marker on my camera screen until I actually uh, changed the angle I was looking at it from and, uh, then I could see it. Yeah, it's only, it only a minor thing. I've just fed Numpty Nuts there. Uh, there's still a old broken sofa in the shopping precinct a week later after it was first reported. Uh. But apparently it's been moved elsewhere in the precinct <laughs> now. So my reply was, anyone for a game have moved the sofa. <laughs> we could move it around town. See how far around town we can get it before it does get taken away. <laughs> Slide the phone back out of the way. Yeah, I still haven't got the monitor put back in here yet. Because I'm actually tempted to put all the Windows 7 guts from this case back into its original case because uh, I don't know I just like that case better to be honest it's just something about that case I don't like I don't know I might leave it as it is bye the lens Fog up my lens, why don't you, Nemo? Oh, it's a bit windy out there tonight. But it's not raining yet. Although, being England, it probably will rain at some point. Oh, look at the clock. It's about time I get this video wrapped up and uh, uploaded. So I'm just going to take a seat in my very wobbly wee, computer chair at the minute. I can't do nothing with it, so I'm just going to wait until it collapses or something. Or if I see one down the recycle centre and it's uh, in a usable state, I might grab it. Uh, anyway. Yeah, I've listened to a bit of music till I got disturbed by uh, Mum's phone call. <laughs> uh, she should be coming into town after work um, might actually pedal up and meet her because uh, stepdad's got a doctor's appointment diabetic foot checkup thing um, at quarter to two in the afternoon and mum finishes at two o'clock so mum said she'll walk into town and probably get a few bits and bobs and uh, I'll meet her. If she gives me a ring when she's leaving, I'll uh, pedal up to meet her. It's not that far from here, so saves her walking all this way on her own, doesn't it? Right. I'm glad I'm having this muck out. I've got a box in the bedroom I need to empty so I can put all the. Um, 
junk that I can't really put in the um, bins out back. Well, I suppose I could if I hide it in a bin bag. But I'm not in a naughty mood like that. If I was in a naughty mood, I would. <laughs> All goes to bloody landfill anyway, doesn't it? One way or another. If I take it down the recycle centre and throw it in the waste landfill, it's going at the same bloody place, so... I don't see what difference it makes, to be honest. Needs new batteries. Right. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow. Like I said, I know I'm seeing Mum in the afternoon. But before that, knowing me, I probably won't get myself out of bed until close to lunchtime anyway. Uh, I was just looking across at my two um, tablets over there. Mm. So I, could I could sell them. I don't use them. But I guarantee if I do that, I would think, ah, now I, want, I wish I'd kept one now. I want one to play with. To be honest, they don't take up a great deal of space, do they? So, ah, I'll keep them. Uh. <sighs> I find it quite weird that I had one of my little YouTube videos featured on an actual TV show. Still trying to get my head round that, you know. <clears throat> As I said, you know, you can see where I'd spoken to one of the um, people that contacted me in the comments we did exchange a few emails I was supposed to fill in a consent form you know download it print it off fill it in scan it back send it off but uh, I actually lost that email but I was going to give my consent anyway regardless of that form so and they knew that so verbal consent as good as anything I suppose I know some people have asked, you know, didn't you get paid for it? No. It would have been nice to get something, but... At the end of the day, it's a four-year-old video. I've got AdSense on it, so I've made a few quid... ...from that... ...while it's been on YouTube, so... I'm not gaining anything and I'm not losing anything, am I? I haven't even gained any subscribers, I thought I might have. <laughs> I wasn't that lucky. <laughs> oh well. Never mind. It was still interesting, you know. I suppose if you don't make these videos and put them out there, then... You're not going to get yourself recognised, are you? I'm not out to be humongous. I've still got 95 subscribers. Yep. Been stuck on that number for months now. It'd be nice if I could hit 100. It really would. I'd be happy with 100. Come on. Five more people subscribe, please. <laughs> Just so I can get it up to 100. That would be nice. I've got 233 on the Lego channel. recommended videos. I don't want recommended videos. I want to see 
Firefox has been a pain in the ass today. Not responding, it keeps freezing for some reason. <sighs> Are you a safe driver? Well, I don't drive, so yeah. <laughs> Oh, on my old trucks and lorries group, someone shared a group that um, was titled Ban Cyclists from the Road. And uh, clearly someone who hates cyclists or who was deliberately trying to troll so I just booted them off the group. Sorry, but I don't want that sort of hatred on my group. Everyone's entitled to use the road. And if you really want to split hairs, bicycles and whatnot were around and using roads way before cars were. Now, in fact, roads have been around way before even any mode of transport was invented. Well, actually, they were around. I don't know if they were around before we used horses and carts, but probably. How else would we have uh, walked from town to town? Don't actually know why you'd want to do that. I was just looking at an, another recommended video, which I've actually seen. Bloody hell, was that long ago? UXW Bill video from three years ago. Um, a CD tower. Basically a computer case just full of CD-ROMs all the way down from top to bottom. I can't actually think of a use for that unless you wanted to make lots of copies of the same disc, you know, because I suppose you could burn more than one disc at a time. I presume that's how they do it in the factories. No big computers like that with multiple disc drives, I don't know. But uh, in a simple home environment like this, I can't see a use for it, to be honest. Oh, there's a grimy one. Shitty me pants. Shitty me pants. Hmm. I want to actually see the videos that the people I'm subscribed to have uploaded, not bloody recommended videos. YouTube's done this before, then it'll switch back to showing me bloody upload recently uploaded videos. I wish it would actually go back to how it was, but uh, YouTube is one of them sites like face Facebook that keeps fixing things that just isn't broken, <laughs> making things worse. <sighs> oh, pardon me. Still taste that fish fillets I had for tea. <laughs> I'm a virgin, do you believe me? No, actually I don't. <laughs> I have a hopeless crush on someone I have no chance with. Yeah, it probably happens to all of us. That sums up a lot of American Christians. Stop taking away my right to take away other people's rights. <laughs> I've got a picture of that Christian lady that wouldn't hand out um, marriage licenses to gay couples. Can't remember her name, I don't care. But uh, my argument with that has always been, you know, I don't care if that's against their religion. If you're taken on to do a job, you do that job. Because, quite frankly, what is their life, or what business is a gay couple's life to anyone? That's their life. 
they want to be gay, then let them be gay. Okay? Doesn't bother me either way. To me, a human being is a human being regardless. So that's who it is. Someone on the Asperger's Awareness Group, or someone claiming at least to be from Autism Behavioural Services, has been commenting on a video on Asperger's Awareness wanting Brian, the page owner, to hand all rights over to Autism Behavioural Services, all rights of the page over, because allegedly they donated £2,000 to Brian's cause. Well, Brian doesn't have a cause, he just runs a Facebook page. There's no cause, he doesn't accept donations, you know, and apparently a person at least claiming to be from them I'm saying claiming because it's not pro proven. Because um, on Facebook, it's online, you can have any flipping name you want. If Facebook closes the account, you just make another one. It's as simple as that. <laughs> but anyway. So he's just, apparently this person has been hounding him to hand over all rights and whatnot, but uh, well, that is technically bullying because Brian has Asperger's Syndrome himself. So you would have thought someone from Autism Behavioural Services would have known better than to actually technically bully someone into handing over a page that they've worked fucking hard for. I've followed the page... A year or more now. I think I started following that before I got the official diagnosis. And he's put a heck of a lot of work into this page to raise awareness of it. That's all it is. You know, make people aware so people have somewhere to go if they want to know about the um, mental condition, etc. So, yeah. Oh, she replied. Oh, she commented on a, one of my links. Here we go. This is another one. This is going to be a slightly long video, but and slightly later up than usual. But yeah, Gap pulled that advert because people complained it was racist because of this. But uh, my point is, if the tables were turned and this was the black girl and this was the white girl, I could guarantee no one would be calling racist. To me, I don't even see it as racist. It's just four girls posing for a photo. Right? I don't see how that's racist, to be honest. I think it's just people pulling the racist card just because they can. Um... And that does annoy me when people do that. And it forces companies like Gap, you know, pulling an advert that they thought was innocent, you know, and having to apologise to a bunch of friggin' assholes, basically. Anyway. I was even confused one of my friends. Another transgender friend! Yay! Yeah, I'm supportive. And nothing like that bothers me. <clears throat> Make yourself a cartoon. Hey, my camera is actually focusing on both faces. 
Yeah, that is. I moved the camera and it's still moving the um, thingy we bob, face tracking squares, whatever they are. I don't bloody know. Anyway, I think I'm going to disappear. I'm not tired, but I need to get this video up anyway, so. Thanks a lot for watching. You know, you know where the comment section is if you want to leave a comment. Cutting the mouth off again, you know. Hey, look at my forehead. Perhaps I could write things on my forehead. It's big enough. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Dislike if you want, really, really want to. I'm not first. I still enjoy making the videos either way, so... Yeah. Anyway, I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.